Oke. 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 Aku si Peter Heneroso. Rosa Maria Katada. Rodrigo Vinjola. Grace Ima Franca. Nilo, Nilo. Janice. I'm Mrs. Lutgarda E. Ablears. Victor Timio. Victor Timio. Taga asa man ta. Taga ka pagkakaroon niya na kusong bantayan ka po yun. Kanian to, di ako spiapi. Taga Tinago, Barangay Uno, Magiti City. Residente sa South Poblacion Bakong. Taga Ahong. Ba't yan? Amlan. I'm from Tugtubon, Cibola Negros Oriental. Hindi rin ako, painitan lang gapit. I was once a public school teacher. Na ako nagtrabaho sa DepEd. Tenderag. Chistik. Diver. Wala na ninda. More than 50 na na lang nga. For almost 40 years. Almost 5 years. Sa dyan eh, 5 years? Dugay, gikan pa ko sa isanyos. Panagar lagi akong panginabuhi. Dumaguete, the city of gentle people, is a place enriched with culture and heritage. Through the years, Dumaguete and its neighboring municipalities have remained a safe haven for many, welcoming diversity that adapts to their needs while staying true to their identity. Baco, the quaint agricultural town of Negros, small but developing. Sibulan, a town rich in biodiversity with a goal to be self-sustaining. Valencia, the greenest and cleanest, an escapade from the city. Along with Dumaguete, providing a simple yet fulfilling life for its residents. Like any other community, improved quality of life follows progress. Ay, kanin dumagiti, sa among kuwan rin, nagoy among kalisdanan, gyapon, gumika sa among panginabuhi. Oh. Pero ako, itong bago, nakadawat po ko ginabang gikas gobyerno, sa lag, na para sa ikuha sa akong panagat, o oh, panginabuhi, ang naguna ko, ining among kuwan, iriyaan eh. May madagan kay among kuha, kay mabot og market niya, among kuha, na ay tulok a kilo, dua ka kilo, napugali, wala, igurasyudan. Buti po, kuwan, bisag bagyo, wala raman po, naibalod, pero wala raman po taon may mga unsa. Ang bakong is malinawon nga lungsod. Tig amigo ang mga tao, wala kay problema, huwag mo ka kay safety ka kung mo sa bakong. What is something uh, you you like about Sibulan? Okay, for Sibulanon, I am proud to present number one is Roman Catholic Church, where in every 13th of the month, Many people from other provinces flock in Sibulan because of their religious faith to St. Anthony de Padua, which is our patron saint. Pagkakaroon, lipay rako nga na ako dari sa Dumagueti. Kay peaceful man. Sa akong matanaw dari, peaceful ang Dumagueti. If you like to makita, ma-change sa Dumagueti, ito gano'n makita. Ito yung ma-change sa Dumagueti. Gawas anang uban pero di ko lehen ang ang tangi balhinon muguna kay ang market na guna city di ni guna tos bokin di bagud di gara guna tigad kay sila mo bi magbot wa pa tay mahimo di ba di nakakapain itog 55 imo plate pa man kag mahal labo bas imo pa init di kay nakaiten makapainit tamang ka pero kung atus layo pa init doble na imo gasto ayuhon di ni balhinon Diba? Bisag ka mo, bisag ka mo. Kaari ba mo din? Ato pa sila yung plate, pag gusto ay gasto. Sa ako, wala man ko gakumiyot, kuhaan motor man. So, traffic, dugay ka mga tulin. Usahay, kuhaan mga good food. Okay lang mga good usahay. Pero kanya lang mga kunting gawa sa eskwelahan, muna mga traffic. Eh, kuhaan man, parking, double parking ang uban. At kabahin sa dalan, okay lang ang dalan. Minsan, na traffic po. Kaya yung sinpos lamang gal, kaya traffic yung sinpos. Bata timpong klase ito na, grabe yung traffic. Traffic, ganun sa ito ah. Traffic, o sana, number one. The community feedback is unanimous. 
A vision for a better living exists among the locals. This vision includes three main concepts, accessibility, inclusivity, and sustainability. This is the Metro for the future. This is a citizen's proposal for Metro Dumaguete 2040 with the goal of creating an aspiring and progressive metropolis for its people. Accessibility will ensure that developments are within public reach. With the plans for the construction of a new airport in Upper Bakong, it will be the new entry and exit point of Negros Oriental, along with a transit terminal to be conjoined within the airport. Sibulan will be the sea access for the metro, hence a redevelopment of the seaport terminal and an addition of bus transit system will be implemented. The Bakong Transit Terminal, in coordination with the Sibulan Transit Terminal, will be implementing six predetermined routes interconnecting all areas. Route 1 will pass through downtown Bakong, Dumaguete, and Sibulan, looping back through the diversion road connecting the three areas together. To serve as a coastal diversion road from the known choke point in Robinsons, a road on stilts will be developed in the coast of Kalindagan. Route 2 will go down through the Valencia Bakun Road, looping back through Jose Romero Road, creating access between Bakong and Dumaguete. Route 3 will start from the Cebulan Transit Terminal, looping back through Jose Romero Road, giving access from Cebulan to Dumaguete. Route 4 will go through the same route as 3, but will loop back through West Rovira Drive. Route 5 will loop through Sibulan, Dumaguete downtown, and coastal Sibulan. And lastly, Route 6 will go up through the Valencia Bakun Road, down to the Jose Romero Road, through downtown Dumaguete, and finally to the Sibulan Transit Terminal, connecting all locations together. These routes will require redevelopment of the streetscape. Diversion Road Streetscape For the Diversion Road, Center lanes will be for private vehicle use and the outer lanes for city buses to promote the use of public transportation. Bus Stop Design 39 bus stops will be designed to provide shelter to people entering and exiting the bus and assisting users to be more oriented with their locations and destinations. Cable management will also be implemented by moving cables underground this would ensure a longer life expectancy, reduced maintenance costs, and prevents accidents and blackouts. Hydrocon is a water management solution that facilitates storm water, controls drainage, and reduces flooding, utilized worldwide. Hydrocon permeable concrete pipes deliver storm water to a bioretention system maintained by high pressure hosing and duction equipment via inlet pits. Metro Dumaguete, encompassing Sibulan, Bakong, Valencia, and Dumaguete City, is divided into seven sectorial areas. Downtown Dumaguete, the center of culture in the city. Uptown Dumaguete, the progressive district of opportunity. Lower Bakong, the industrial district of the metro. Upper Bakong, the metro's designated air access. Lower Sibulan, the envisioned self-sustaining area. Upper Sibulan, the lungs of the metro. And Valencia, the getaway from the busy metro. The project aims to implement inclusive and sustainable developments with the input of Dumaguiteños, Bakunganons, Sibulanons, and Valencianons in planning for the future of the metro. Our goal is to provide stability, safety, and opportunity to the people. And these aspects are only achievable when they have access to the basic necessities of life, food, water, clean air, and shelter. Uptown Dumaguete, the most vulnerable sector in the city, is riddled with informal settlers. Thus, alternative housing will be proposed. The goal is to relocate and provide 30,000 residents with livelihood, recreation, and access to nature. The proposed inclusive community development will be inclusive of housing, community centers, 
commercial and office buildings, green zones, and a public park. Before the people can secure the basic necessities in life, a stable livelihood is essential. To address this issue, sustainable livelihood programs will be proposed for the people in Metro Dumaguete. The first proposal will be the development of the Agricultural Training Institute Expansion Center in Bakong. The existing ATI office in Poblacion Bakong is now non-operational. The re-establishment of the ATI, an extended program of the Department of Agriculture, will assure job security to rural-based organization members wherein the skills of local farmers and fisherfolk are further enhanced. In further support of the economic activities and social functions of Bakong, the construction of a cargo port will be implemented. The current port conditions along the coastline of Bakong have stirred the inevitability of harmful environmental hazards and constraints. To make use of the idle port, the non-operational Oricon nitrates in Barangay San Miguel will be redeveloped as a cargo port that will cater the exchange of commodities throughout the metro. The Negro South Road will be redeveloped into a more people-centered street. The National Road currently has four lanes. The outer lanes will be designated for the bus transit terminal, while the inner lane for shared vehicle use. The sidewalk will be enhanced into a shared use path where the bike lane and pedestrian lane are color-coded. This will help to distinguish the two lanes from the main road. As a country that is highly reliant on agriculture, the implementation of Bagsakan centers will allow farmers to sell their produce without the need for intermediaries. The development of an agro-bagsakan and resiliency center in Uptown Dumaguete will tackle two problems that the city is facing today. A crowded public market and the evident lack of evacuation centers. The development will be categorized into seven buildings that would serve as a multifunctional facility. As a market, the seven buildings will house 124 stalls. As a resiliency center, it will cater to over 1,000 people. The Cebulan Public Market, located at Poblacion, greatly supports the local businesses. The fast growth rate, however, will congest the market by 2040. The redevelopment is designed accordingly to serve all Cebulanons with 220 stalls. An overpass bridge that connects the market and Cebulan Terminal will be added providing pedestrians convenient means to travel. The redevelopment of Magatas Barangay Hall, an agricultural training facility, allows the agricultural scene of Upper Cebulan to adapt to modern techniques in harvesting and farming, catering to the municipality's local farmers and their agricultural produce. Additionally, a farmer's market where fresh crops and agricultural produce can be sold to and consumed by the locals of Sibulan, all located in Magatas Barangay Hall with all the needed facilities. Sibulan Dumaguete Airport would be repurposed to help the community become self-reliant. The proposed business complex will create more opportunities for the people in terms of livelihood. The airport runway will be used as a main street that leads to the cultural and convention center with a dedicated transit lane on the outer lane of the road. The Negro South Road in Cebulan is currently a two-lane road with little to no developed sidewalks with the objective of taking back the street and converting it to a people-centered street. The plan is to extend the width of the main road creating shoulder areas designed for both pedestrians and cyclists. Due to width constructions, caution zones are provided by using pavement markings to ensure the safety of pedestrians. As a center to accelerate learning and development, Metro Dumaguete foresees a further step with developments for education, healthcare, and science. As a university town, the development of a public library will be beneficial for Metro Dumaguete. The 24-hour library, the first in the metro, 
will include an information technology facility where students may use public computers for educational purposes. This development will elevate the quality of education in the public sector by promoting literacy and self-learning among students. Healthcare should be accessible to everyone, regardless of status. To address the problem of congested hospitals in the city, the development of the Dumaguete City Hospital aims to provide the quality healthcare services Dumaguetenos need and deserve. 213 hospital beds will be provided in the hospital to accommodate the entire city. Specialized healthcare is a service designed exclusively to treat a specific disease. As a growing metropolitan area, its development is essential. We propose to develop a specialized hospital in the upper area of Bakong, providing geriatric and neonatal care, to be known as the Bakong Pueri Culture Obstetrics Gerontology Medical Center or the Bakong POG Medical Center, transcending healthcare possibilities. This development aims to provide reliable support to neighboring healthcare facilities as well as exceptional care to senior citizens and premature infants. Dumaguete City, along with its neighboring municipalities, has always been known for its simple and laid-back atmosphere. Earning its title in Forbes magazine 2014 as the fifth best place to retire in the world, Dumaguete is proven to be admired and cherished not only by locals, but also tourists. An effective tourism program brings in numerous benefits to a city, ensuring the success of the urban economy while promoting cultural understanding. Dumaguete Seaport Terminal in Barangay Look is a perfect spot for a traveler's lounge and Pasalubong Plaza, a place where people can recuperate after a long trip, offering various amenities such as dining, resting areas, and comfort rooms. The plaza, linking Flores Avenue to the Dumaguete Seaport via the walkway alley, will serve as an access point. The traveler's lounge and Pasalubong Plaza a one-stop shop will offer basic necessities and local souvenir items from Dumaguete City. Located in Barangay Daro, Dumaguete City, the redevelopment of the Sidlacang Negros Village aims to give importance to historical architecture. The existing unmaintained, destroyed, and abandoned structures will be replaced with historical houses from around Negros Oriental. With many landmarks, but no proper access, a bus stop will be proposed beside the Valencia Plaza, providing travelers access to information. Utilizing minibuses, Route 1 will lead to Tejeros, Forest Camp, Casaroro Falls, and Filipino Amity Memorial Shrine, while Route 2 visits the Cataal Museum, Tierra Alta, Palinpinon Vents, Red Rock Spring, and Pulang Bato Falls. Located in Valencia, is the Palinpunan Flood Area with catch basin-like features that lead rainwater to Okoy River. A forestation will allow diverse trees to grow in the area with a goal to be a recreational spot by 2040, with farming being a major driver in Valencia's economy, 30% of the area will be designated for crops. The Magatas Elementary School will be renovated for the growing population of Sibulan, providing improved facilities that will help the students in their academics. A water collecting system and park will also be implemented with the aim to become a communal place for locals while they gather water from the environment and the water collection towers. With various constructions around the metro, green development projects are needed. Hence, the proposal for a sustainable development area designated for recreational activities that protect biodiversity and provide holistic wellness to the people. Implementing the Banika River Walk utilizes and enhances the open space along Banika River. Existing bridges will be incorporated into the design, while food carts and seating areas will be provided along the river walk encouraging future developments to face toward the river. 
linking the existing pathways from residences to the Riverwalk will create a community full of life and vigor along the Banika River. With over 120 households along the Okoy, students from Kalabnugan have to cross the river on foot to reach school. The redevelopment of the bridge will address this problem. The river will feature the esplanade with the aim to provide a sustainable area where people can enjoy nature. A biodiversity forest also will act as a safe haven for migratory birds and biodiversity preservation. Creating access, redefining streets, and constructing developments will bring about prosperity and progress to the urban landscape. By 2040, an inclusive, accessible, and sustainable Metro Dumaguete will emerge. This, this is our vision. This is what the community aspires Dumaguete to be. A home of opportunities centered on the people's welfare. This is an approach where we ensure a future with the community at its center. Our goal, our future of Metro Dumaguete.